Welcome to Zenata Consulting's Beginners Series. Today, we're going to be talking about Zoho Desk, and we're going to be talking about setting up some basic automation inside of Zoho Desk. I'm Brett Martin, and I'm here with Tyler Colt, and let's go ahead and get right to it. So Tyler, from the homepage here, we're going to go ahead and click on Settings. And over on the left-hand side, you're going to see Automation. Now, today, we're just going to cover some basic ones that are probably the most powerful, assignment rules and some basic workflows. So Tyler, let's go ahead and kick it off with some assignment rules. Yeah, so what you'll want to use assignment rules for is setting up some specific criteria that designate that a ticket should be assigned to a particular user. So we'll go ahead and walk through and maybe set up one or two example <clears throat> assignment rules to you know give you an idea of how these work. So up at the top right hand side of the page, we can go ahead and click a new direct assignment. Let's say that we wanna make this based on a category. So I'll say anything that's a question should be assigned to Mr. Zen Otta, just one of our users here inside of Zoho Desk. So I'll go ahead and say, if a ticket is ever created or updated, and I'll add our target such that our classification is questions. I can go ahead and assign that ticket to this user. So I can also say I can assign it to a team if you have any created. So if you had a couple different people, you know, you could assign it to a particular team. In this case, we'll go ahead and assign it to our one singular user. And so what you can do here as well is let's say we want to go ahead and create one additional rule. Maybe if a certain status is hit, we want to assign it to someone to review it. So let's say we'll create a new direct assignment. Let's say closed. Close code is Anana. So if a ticket is updated, we'll add our target such that our status is closed. Then we'll assign this to Zenata. So maybe if you had someone who's doing review on any of these closed tickets, you can go ahead and just assign it over to that person based on when a ticket hits a certain target. So you can create a series of these, you know, that meet any of the criteria that you need, you know, so you could organize it by certain fields or certain people, right? And basically set up your rules to make it such that, you know, people are getting the tickets that apply to them when they should be getting those tickets. And those are our direct assignment rules. You can also set up round robins and round robins are hard for us to show you in this demo and that we only have one single user, but we can kind of give you a basic overview of what it looks like. So kind of exactly the same kind of thing. You basically set up your round robin, you set up your criteria, whether it's on create or ticket update, and then you go ahead and add your targets and you select the various. Say. And in this case, maybe we just have one that's general, right? You can just say all tickets, regardless of criteria, get assigned amongst these series of users, right? In an equal fashion. And, and one of the couple things to note about these assignment rules is that if there's another rule that assigns a ticket, so let's say you just have a general round robin, all tickets will be assigned between these three people. But I have that direct assignment rule that if it's a question, it specifically goes to this one user the direct assignment or workflows are gonna override the round robin. So it's only gonna run this if it doesn't meet the other criteria that are set in your rules. Yeah, and on the direct assignment side, you can get really granular with that criteria. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, really, really bring it down so that you can get tickets going to the right people all the time, thereby saving all sorts of, uh, all sorts of delays and uh, hopefully not affecting your service level agreements and getting tickets answered in a timely fashion. Mm -hmm. So then Tyler, I think uh, the most powerful thing you can automate inside of Zoho Desk is using the workflows. And we do this for all of our clients. So why don't we take us through some basic workflow rules? Yeah, and so the workflows here, it's, the workflow rules here, you can pretty much think about like if then statements. Um, so those things that we did with direct assignment, you could actually also do with a workflow rule. They're kind of like a more general way to set up those types of automations. So let's walk through one that we set up pretty common or pretty often here around managing our ticket status via workflows. 
So I'll go ahead and create a new rule. And let's make a rule where on an agent response, update our status to on hold. Because once we've responded to a ticket, we might wanna say, hey, this ticket isn't open anymore. We're now waiting for the client to respond. So it's on hold for right now. All right, it gets important if you have people working, you know, different views of tickets and focused on specific statuses. So let's say we wanna create this workflow rule. So we'll give it a name and then we'll move to next. And now we're basically gonna determine what we want to execute this rule on, right? So what should trigger this action to happen? And inside of here, we have a variety of different triggers, anything from the creation or edit of a ticket, updating a specific field. If a customer re replies or an agent replies, you know, if you have any comments, if you get a certain rating. So in this case, we want to use the agent response trigger. You can have more than one as well, but for this case, we just want this one. And then we decide if there are any criteria on this. So you could say only run this if the status maybe isn't already closed. So the status needs to be either you know, open or on hold. In this case, we don't really need any criteria for this. And then lastly, we get to determine what our action should be. So basically when this happens, when an agent responds and these criteria are met, what is it that we want to do? And so the different things that you can do is either, you know, send an email, basically an email alert. You can assign a desk task. You can run a field update, or you can run a custom function written in uh, Deluge, which is Zoho's on-platform kind of scripting language. For this, we're just going to need to use a field update. So we'll go ahead and add a new field update here through the dropdown. So I'll go ahead and give this a name. And basically I'm gonna name this what exactly what it's doing. So it's updating the status to on hold. And so I can just choose for this field update what our status should be and then click save. So now in summary, what this workflow is gonna do is when an agent responds to a ticket, so when one of our team members sends out a response, it's gonna go ahead and update the status of that ticket to on hold. Now I'll quickly run through the inverse of this is once that customer responds, we want it to go back to open. So we can make a rule and say on customer response, status to open and we'll choose our customer reply trigger, just how we chose agent response before. And we don't need any criteria. And we'll create a new field update for status to open. And so now basically we've created that back and forth in the statuses so that when the ball is in our court, because the customer responded, our status will be open. But when the ball is in their court, because we've responded, then the status will be set to on hold. And now you could always update these statuses independently. So maybe you respond and you're like, well, I wanna keep this open so I can you know, keep it top of mind. You can always update the status manually as well, but these will set that baseline for you so that you don't need to you know, consistently be adjusting these things. All right, so that's basic automation inside of Zoho Desk. You've got assignment rules and workflows. And I think if you just implement a couple of those, you're gonna find that your Zoho Desk installation is gonna run a heck of a lot more smoothly. Again, please hit the subscribe button down below. We hope you enjoy this series and we'll see you next time.